Hey everyone, it's Stream Simone here and welcome back to my channel if you know how you're doing. So this vlog is going to be a little different. I'm going to be more focused on self-care. Just a little, not full out self-care because I'm really busy and I just wanted to do a couple of things. For example, like wash my hair as you guys seen. I used uh, apple cider vinegar rinse to kind of help with the balance of my scalp. And I also used the Shea Moisture Bamboo Charcoal Conditioner, but you can also use it as a deep conditioner, which I'm I'm doing right now as you can see i'm gonna let it sit in my head for 15 minutes but you can just do three minutes if you're in a rush but right now i'm about to like talk to you guys so i can let it sit for the 15 minutes the reason why i'm using these two products is because if you haven't been following me on instagram you wouldn't know but I've been experiencing a lot of hair loss besides my thyroid disorder that causes hair loss. A couple of months ago, I did this protective hairstyle of crochet braids. I'll pop it up on the screen. I wanted like a protective style during working out when I was full-fledged in my weight loss journey and it destroyed my hair. After that style, my hair has been falling out in clumps. It doesn't feel like itself. It's very dry, brittle, and knotty. It feels disgusting and I know my hair. I know how my hair is supposed to feel. That conditioner is really good putting back moisture, helps with dry scalp, and literally my hair feels so good. I couldn't find it because some of my stuff were still kind of packed away, but when I found it, I had to put it on today. Literally, I could feel my hair coming back to life. I did lose a lot of hair. What I'm showing you right now, I lost three times that. Some of it just went down the drain, unfortunately. My hair is really thin right now. It's only because it's out like this is you can't see the thinness of it. It's supposed to have a lot more density to it. It is what it is. I'm gonna be working on my hair a lot. That's why I've been wearing a lot of wigs. Tuck my hair away because it's not at its healthiest right now. I'm not digging my hair right now, <laughs> you guys. So in this vlog today, prepping my hair for my new wig that I shared. Well, I didn't share it yet. I told you guys in the vlog where you ran errands with me, I picked up a new wig from the beauty supply store. It's gonna be a lace closure wig opposed to like a frontal. I'll get more into that after I prep my hair and everything. I'll show you guys the wig, put it on with you guys and everything because a lot of you have been asking for like a wig install and haul i don't know when since you guys are so interested in wigs on your girl i'm here for it normally i would do that behind the scenes but we're gonna do that today share a couple of beauty products that i found a miniature haul and of course i'm gonna share some fall clothing items that i found i went back to marshall's i think marshall's is somewhere else so it's a miniature haul it's nothing big Min miniature try on haul i also want to share some dossier perfumes with you guys and you've been watching me you know like for the longest dossier Dossier perfumes has been my go-to fragrance. It was so kind enough to send me over two more. So this one that I have right here is inspired by Versace Bright Crystal, you guys. And I've already wore this out. A couple of people stopped me. <laughs> asked me what I had on with this Versace Bright Crystal, you guys. The Fruity Magnolia. And then the other one, it's a new one that I'm trying out, the Giorgio Armani My Way. I like that I can test out the big name brand perfumes. So if you don't know what Dossier is, it basically they offer classic high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price, you guys. So when I said inspired, it's not the actual fragrance itself, but it's inspired by, so it smells exactly like it to me and they last long like all day you guys so you basically have to order it online and i know that could be very risky it is not risky with dossier all you got to do is test out your 50 ml bottle they used to give the little testers but they're saving plastic now and being kind to the earth so you test it out if it's not meeting your expectation you can send it back and it's free returns and free exchanges in my eyes that's totally risk-free they have an array of inspired fragrances on there they also have men fragrances so if you want to get for your hubby or if you're a man watching and you want to get some you most definitely can try it out they're very affordable they range from $29 to $49 compared to your $150 even $300 high-end perfume prices why not no one would ever know that you're wearing an inspiration perfume because when I was outside with the Versace bright crystal no one knew that it was dossier they have great bundle deals 25% off three plus bottles and of course I'm gonna have a discount code down below for you guys so you can get your hands on your own dossier perfume try it out don't knock it before you try it because that's all i've been wearing and it just smells great
All right, you guys, I'm finished blowing out my hair. It took about maybe 45 minutes. It would probably take me longer if I wasn't using that blow dryer brush. I'll link everything down below. So check out the description box if you see anything that I mention or show in the video. I did add <laughs> this hemp hair oil. It says 99% natural and it's supposed to like strengthen your hair. So I put it throughout my entire head, like inside and everything. But you guys, I'm like a little ugh because I'm just losing so much hair during this process. There was hair all over the floor, hair in the sink while I was blow drying. I know you're supposed to lose hair on a daily basis, you know, just naturally. But I feel like just from experience of always doing my own hair, I'm not supposed to be losing this much during the wash process and the blow drying and detangling process. I'm, my hair is just like coming out. I could feel the thinness. Like, look at, look at this. It's so thin. I'm grateful to have hair on my head, <laughs> nonetheless, but I know something is going on. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on hair care, tending to my hair. If you guys would like me to like share more hair videos, natural hair videos, protective hairstyle videos, or just hair videos in general, make sure you thumbs up the video that let me know and also comment below. Comment below right now if you want me to just share more hair videos. I definitely want to visit the salon to get like a nice hair trim, like a professional one, close to the one that I gave myself last year. My hair is just doing some wacky stuff, you guys. <laughs> also did use that heat protectant that I just got. That was a part of the little beauty haul. I picked up a little travel size one from the beauty supply store. I really like that one. I feel like the conditioner that I used really helped out my hair. My hair doesn't feel like trashy like it was before, but it is just falling out. The last time I washed my hair two weeks ago, my hair was falling out the same way. So I'm just losing a lot of hair and I could even like see I have little short hairs like my hair is really like falling out you guys I'm going to braid my hair really quickly, which is what I always do for my wigs. I just braid them straight back, literally just straight back. It's not going to be like any professional type of thing. It ain't even going to be that neat. I just try to get it as flat as possible so that my wigs don't be like <laughs> up like that. did my eyebrows really quickly because one thing I do not like is when I have on my wig and my brows are not done, it looks a little funny to me, but that's just preference. Also lashes, but I'm not doing all of that. That's gonna take too much. So finally the wig, after all of the natural hair prepping, finally time to whip out the wig. So this is the new wig, you guys, that I found at the beauty supply store. I will be sure to link it down below. It cost me in the beauty supply store about a hundred and sixty dollars or maybe more i think it was more probably might be a little more affordable online is usually like that so it's the naked 100 percent human hair freedom lace part wig in natural like a natural texture but it's a lace closure there is a difference between lace closure wigs and the lace 
front or lace frontal wigs just really quickly if you're, you're really new to wigs i'll just go over it really briefly i'm not an expert but like i have a little bit of experience with wigs so lace closure wigs are going to be more for the beginners or if you're just someone that want to just get up and go it's less of a hassle so the lace closure is probably about just three inches of lace and it's normally in three styles middle part side part or like a little bit of a free part but it's just a little bit okay opposed to a frontal where it's like air to air or it's just wider with the frontal you can get more of a natural look but you would have to use like glue something like that to have it down to make it look like it's coming out of your scalp uh, opposed to a closure wig it's just gonna be in that fixed position whether it be to the side the center and if it's a free part you're only able to just part maybe just a little bit but you won't be able to do that many styles the styles are more limited with the closure your wig because it's set into its style it's very easy to maintain is not really much damage done to the hairline with a frontal wig over time you can get damage to your hairline or your scalp from you know the gluing down it's all about preference but if you're more on the beginner side or you want it more affordable the lace closure it comes in many different styles it doesn't even have to be as expensive as this because all the other wigs i've been wearing even the last one was a closure wig and it was synthetic and it looked really Really nice but I wanted one that was human hair because I don't like the synthetic all the time synthetic hair is a whole nother different story I'm probably missing some other key points about frontals and closures that's just a little you know recap right there so this is it you guys oh my gosh I don't even know like I'm so excited <laughs> but with this one I'm sure I can shift it to the left the right or the middle I might do middle might do middle because that's what I've been rocking so far but this is like fresh you guys i haven't even worn it i just tried it on in the store the beauty supply store that i went to we were able to just try on two wigs and that's it because you know since the pandemic they haven't really been making people try on wigs that's how it looks right there although i'm gonna put the info down below just to kind of show you what i was talking about a lace closure is probably gonna be small like that you can even have your bigger ones but it's not not gonna be the whole full out thing. So this one comes with combs, two combs in the front, and one in the back. And what I think is so cool, it also comes with a built-in elastic band. But this one, how they put it, it's really big, but I'm pretty sure you can like take it off and then sew it to the size that you want for the circumference of your head. And then it also has this like silicone kind of grip against you and then back here almost every wig every wig has these adjustable bands i've been relying a lot on those because that's another way that you can wear your wigs glueless so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be wearing the wig glueless so let's just get into this wig really quickly you guys so look at it oh my gosh it's so cute so it's like a natural body wave and what i love i could straighten it say so you could dye it perm it bleach it but i wouldn't really recommend to do any of those things because they just last longer the less manipulating that you do okay but this is so soft you guys i just love it so much i fell in love with it when i tried it on in the store it's like a mesh cap in here as well which is going to make it more breathable so i feel like also when you put more money into your wig it's going to last you longer that's another thing so that's why i decided to find a lace closure wig that was human hair and had a lot more going on just because you know so i don't have to keep switching out my closure wigs and it also does have a whole bunch of baby hairs here too if you want to do that but i like to use my own baby hairs if you don't want to you don't have to you can use the ones on here but i am going to be putting a little edge control and i'm only going to put a wig cap on i don't have to put one on because it has a mesh or just in general you don't have to put one on but i'm gonna put one on because i didn't sew my braids down and the wig cap holds my braids in place i'm gonna be using the style factor edge booster gel let's have my edges lay flat um you can use an even more stiff gel i would recommend that so that the hair doesn't really curl up like as you sweat with the closure wigs, 
if you're gonna have your edges peeking through like how I do. Right now, just for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna use this gel um, because I do have another gel that's a very strong hold. And I also did pick up this new one. I'm gonna show you guys my little beauty supply and Dollar Tree haul with all the little beauty goodies that I picked up. <laughs> so something like that, nothing crazy. And I'm gonna take my wig cap. I like to use this color opposed to that very light, light beige because I feel like it's closer to the scalp. And I just take my hair and twist it like that. And like that. And then if your hair is long, you could just tuck it. And I kind of just go over my baby hairs like this. Y'all been asking for some type of wig tutorial, so I'm trying to be as detailed as possible. And yeah, so this is how we looking. So my little trick that I like to do, because you can also put the combs in, right? But I feel like over time the combs could kind of eat your hair out, tugging on it, and it hurts sometimes. So I don't really use the combs like that no more. My little trick, if you don't know about this, you probably already do, because it's like an old school trick. So those adjustable bands that I showed you guys, what I do, crisscross them. I take the side from over here and I'm going to loop it into the third one there. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the one over here. Loop it into the third one here, like that. So you see, it's crisscrossed, right? Evenly, it's going to act as security. I'm gonna ignore the band they made me. Normally, wigs don't come with this band. You can make your own, or you can do what I just told you. And look how we're gonna do this. So I'm putting on, it's flipped over. I'm gonna put it on like I'm putting on a hat, because this is our hat. <laughs> Okay, see it's not even all the way on yet and it's already cute. And I'm just gonna pull it on my head as close to my hairline as possible. Just like that. So the comb is literally under here. If I wanna tuck the comb, you see that? I can, but like I said, a lot of times I don't do that. I probably might do it like if I'm out and about and I really don't want my wig lifting or shifting, I'll put the comb, but it'll be for a short period of time. You guys, this hair is so soft and luscious. Look where it stops right here. If I straighten it, it's gonna go past my waist. This is so cute and I just love the natural ways. So the next thing, of course, is our lace closure. Nine out of 10 times, the knots are very big and noticeable. The little mesh, we call that knots. This is just if you're a really beginner, beginner to wigs. You can bleach it. Makes no sense to me to bleach the lace closure when it's this tiny. It, it makes no sense. So that's where you can put concealer, foundation powder, or liquid foundation, the leg airbrush thing, or lace tint. There's so many things now. But I'm gonna do it the old school way and use my concealer, which I've been doing before they came out with lace tint and all of this thing, right? So I'm literally just gonna put it here on it. You could do it on the inside, but I, I just do it like that. I use my finger and I rub it in. I should be using a brush, but I left it in the room, but I just blend it in. So whatever concealer or foundation I use during my makeup process, I'm gonna use that. And my daughter just told me that my hair looks super nice. So professional. <laughs> what does she know about that word? So I'm gonna use this little brush right here and just kind of brush it down. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm just put the combs in because I didn't do it that tight. I like to kind of take some of the hairs out of the middle just to make the part a little wider. So I just, I rip it out like this, just like that. I know y'all might think I'm crazy. Naturally, in real life, parts are not this close together. So I like to make it look more realistic. So I just pull. This is what they would call, you could use a tweezer and pluck it. I just love this hair. It looks like a nice, wet and wavy. It's a go. Comment down below if you think this wig is so pretty. When I tell you, it's just so soft. And I wouldn't pluck too much because these wigs naturally shed, whether it be human, synthetic, every wig on a lace is going to naturally just shed as you comb and brush it. So I wouldn't pluck too much. All right, so before I show you guys my fall clothing finds, I wanted to share the beauty haul. 
of the things that I got. I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not. It's a lot of small things and a lot of stuff I got from Dollar Tree. When I was in the beauty supply store, I did pick up some hair beads for Mila. I have a lot of different ones for her. And the beauty supply store really does have a variety. And of course, the heat protectant is the two ounce one. I also found this Wonder Lace Bond. This is what I was trying to tell you guys here can you even see it they also have a yellow one i've yet to try them i can't wait this one is extreme firm hole maybe stronger than the yellow one press on nails i really want to try press on nails as you can see my nails look really bad i haven't been to the nail salon in a little while not because i don't want to i just haven't had any time i want to see if i would be able to finesse <laughs> press on nails these are how they look they're really nice i really like these soft patterns pastel colors and these kind of go more with my skin tone for some reason i have really really dark <laughs> cuticles as well so like lighter toned nail colors or pastel soft colors always look best on my fingers so that's why i went for these colors right here they're in long i wanted to do short but short for some reason was kind of sold out i guess it looks more realistic in short and i also got the la girl pro concealer in medium beige that's what i use on my lace closure and I also use this to do my eyebrows. So all of this stuff right here is from Dollar Tree, you guys. I found all of this at Dollar Tree and you're seeing some name brands, yes. Elf, Dream On Lip Gloss Electric Lemonade in the Dollar Store, right in Dollar Tree, you guys. So I picked up two of them. There was a good amount there. I, I, I like Elf a lot. I use Elf in general. So I was happy to have found these. Got me a Carmax lip balm, you know, the weather outside is getting kind of cold okay i have a lot of other lip ointments and things of that nature but i like to have the carmine but i also like to have it as a twist up balm opposed to the one you stick your finger in because i feel like that one could be a little unsanitary at times if you don't do it right and i did get a couple of things nails wise but first let me get the lashes out of the way because nine out of ten times when you're seeing me wear lashes they're from dollar tree believe it or not i'm still a beginner at lashes so i like to practice on inexpensive ones i really like to use the tony brand in on um, dollar tree 3d faux mink lashes so we got this one here it's the wispy crossover light very cute and then this one it has like this with louis v all over it look at that what were they thinking like who do they think they are this is the wispy crossover really really full i also found another louis vuitton print all over it cat eye medium and then I also found the individual lash. I've never really tried that on myself, so I picked it up. I only picked up one just to see. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, but practice makes perfect. And then the rest of these things are more nail-wise. I did find these artificial nail tips. Normally pretty hard to find in the Dollar Tree. When they're in stock, you better stock up. If the press-ons go good, I think I might start venturing out and if I feel like doing my own nails so i picked up a couple of these it's a dollar for one pack so why not these nail files wide board one nail buffing set clean conditioned and shine so i like that it gives you step by step and then i also did get this little set of nail clippers the one for your toe and the one for your nails i actually have a couple of these but I like this little design going on here. So I picked that up. And then I got the LA Colors Rapid Dry Top Coat, depending on how I feel <laughs> about doing my actual own nails. All right, you guys, so let's start the haul. The first find are these boots, you guys. They are true religion. I got them at Marshalls. They were $49.99. The original price is $80. And you got look at these boots. I just love them so much. It's like a nice beige color. Very nice beige color. I got them in a seven and a half. I would normally be an eight in woman since I gave birth to my daughter. My size went up <laughs> half a size, but they are cut so big that a seven and a half fit perfectly. My feet were swimming in the eight. <laughs> so I went ahead and got that seven and a half 
and it fits so nicely. So the zipper are, are in the sides. They have these nice grips. You would think these were like some constructions, but they're not. They're more chic. I just love, love, love these boots, you guys. When I did wear them in the vlog and on Instagram, I got a lot of compliments about it. You guys were saying you love my boots and I love them too. They're so comfortable these jeans are not in the haul i just threw them on if you're interested they're from american eagle but i bought it a very long time ago very very long time ago i'm distressed it more all right so the haul is gonna be taking place in my room i didn't feel like setting up my clothing rack and everything i did find a lot of tops like these they just fit me so nicely you guys in the junior section they're very stretchy and just form fitting it gives me like that feel like it's skims but it's not skims for so this is by Sincerely Jules, J-U-L-E-S, Sincerely Jules, and it was $9.99 for this, and I got it in a small, I got all of them in a small. I'm gonna show you from dark to light. I think this is the only one I found with this scoop neck. I really, really love this. This is a sweetheart neck. I think this may be sweetheart. It just looked good. Me love it. All right. <laughs> Bomb, you guys. Come on now. And this next one is not by Sincerely Jewels. This one is by Live in the Moment. This would be like a more affordable one compared to the other one. I mean, they're both affordable, but this one is $6.99. I have a couple more in this one. And then I have another Sincerely Jewels, actually. Look at this brown. This is definitely full right here. I don't have on the correct bra for this, you guys. I have on a lounge bra, so don't pay that on mine, <laughs> okay? The material is not as thick as the Sincerely daily jewels one but i really like just the feel of them this one is also by live in the moment and this color is like a tan maybe a khaki it is on a size small but this one was more inexpensive they have marked it down to five dollars and fifty cents i don't know maybe people weren't like picking up this color as often as the others but i like it i like the way it looks on my skin tone and i also like the way it looks with denim and this is not only a fall color this is like all year round so this is the other sincerely jewels one you guys and it was 9.99 love this color this is your classic aesthetic muted going with everything just nice and it even looks good with my boots like Okay, and here is the last one by Live in the Moment. $6.99, size small, and I got it in a uh, white. I really wanted it in white in the Sincerely Jewels, but there was no more, like I said. I definitely got on the wrong bra, like I was saying, but you could see it with this white. It's like see-through, but it's, it's not like, oh my God. Material is not so thick, it's just one layer. I feel like if it was the Sincerely Jewels, it wouldn't have been that like see-through. Most definitely needed it in white though, because it's a staple and gonna be great for layering speaking of layering you guys i got another moon and madison sweater in my last fall clothing haul i shared this like beige sweater that a lot of you guys liked in the haul and it was from marshall's by the brand moon and madison so i went looking for another one because i really love the quality of it and it feels just like the other one that i have but i found one that's a little unique you see like halfway through it's like half and half beige and the white so i thought that this would be really cute and just different like i don't normally see sweaters that look like this and i thought it would be really cute Cute and I'm like I have to get this and when I say it's so soft so it was $16.99 and I did get it in the medium the medium fits me perfectly it's the quality for me the quality it's so soft so nice I just love it so much you guys can't wait to put on my nice little sweaters it started to get a little nippy now I can start pulling out my sweaters I think I pulled out my sweaters a little too early I got excited after my first fall clothing haul and I was wearing my sweaters outdoors and I was sweating <laughs> I'm like, ooh, it's not, it's not time, but now it's time, so I can't wait. So, speaking of Moon and Madison, I found me another sweater by them. I really, really like the quality of the Moon and Madison, but this one is like a different type of sweater. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it all depends on what you're into. It is one of the thinner knits, so you would most definitely have to layer it, but it also all depends because um, it's like one of those, not really off the shoulder, but very, very wide necks so it's gonna show your bra strap as you can see but i love the distress going on that's what drew me to it i feel like if the distress 
part wasn't here, I probably may, may not have picked it up because it's even down on the bottom, the distress part. They had it in a lot of different colors, but I really, really like this color. I don't know if you can really pick it up, but it's like a sage. This is most definitely a sage color, and I don't really have many sage colors in my wardrobe and I feel like it goes really nicely with my skin tone really nicely with my skin tone actually so um this is how it looks in the back and it also was $16.99 like the other one. I think majority of the Moon and Madison sweaters are $16.99. All right, you guys. So this next top, it just speaks my whole existence. It literally gave me nostalgia. It reminded me of when I was younger. I used to go out and dress up. And I was always that girl that I liked to wear things that showed shoulder, collarbone, neck, cleavage i feel like i have really nice shoulders <laughs> and the skin there it just i don't know i don't i don't know but this top i could not leave without it i really really like it it was so affordable it was only ten dollars it was 9.99 it's a bit see-through as you can see you can see my bra a bit but if you wear a black bra you'll be fine <laughs> i just love everything about this shirt it's so stretchy it's the stretchy materials just like the materials of the long crop tops that i showed you guys earlier it feels the same way and i think that's why i picked it up the brand i don't even know dancing something it's like one of those off brands it's nothing like sitting there with a whole bunch of colors because i just found this like a diamond in the rut little um turtleneck with nothing crazy it's very thin but this is a state this is gonna be so nice for a date night. I can literally see myself. I was hoping that I would have found it in a bodysuit because I feel like, let me just tuck it really quick. I can get away with it tucked, right? But I feel like if it was a bodysuit, it would have been even better. The last item, I said it wasn't gonna be such a big haul, but I got these Nike sweatpants. They actually weren't gonna be a part of the haul at first, but when we went out, my boyfriend and I, we went into this sneaker store to get my daughter some sneakers, and I seen these and I had to have them, so he bought these for me. They're like a nice hunter green. I really, really like them, you guys. They're so soft and comfy and just the quality, baby. Quality. I just love this color so much. I did get it in the medium. I feel like a small would have been too snug and I want it to look like sweats. You know, I don't like when sweats are looking like tights or leggings. So they're supposed to have like a sweats look to them. They were $60 for them and it didn't come with a top. I mean, none of them really come as sets, but the top that they had there, I didn't really care for it too, too much. I could just wear my own stuff. So this is how it looks. It comes all the way down over my ankles. If you're into sweats, you want some nice quality sweats and you don't mind the little logo right here, get you some Nike sweats. They will last you a while, a good while. I've always wanted one of these especially this color and i'm so happy to have it now all right you guys so let me know which one of the clothing items you thought was cute make sure you comment down below if you're loving the hair the process today let me know by thumbsing up the video also if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out any other videos follow me on instagram at a stream of simone and i want to thank you so much for watching today if you made it to this point i really appreciate you so very much and hanging out with me for this little time we've been here together during this vlog and yeah i will see you in the next video. Bye!